Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve CrackMe14, which is downloadable from my website. Just go to this website here and click this to download it. The password to unzip it is crackinglessons.com. So this CrackMe asks for your first name and then generates a serial key based on your first name. So the instruction is, number one, this is the challenge. Number one, create a key gen that will be able to generate any serial key based on your first name. Number two, to solve this challenge, you may create a self key gen or write a separate key gen. So in this video, I will, I will show you how to create a self key gen. So what is a self key gen? A self key gen is where you modify the program itself to reveal the actual serial key itself. When you click on this button, it will show you the actual serial key. So you don't have to write a separate key gen. You don't have to write a separate key gen. You can use this same crack me itself to show you the, the key itself, the serial key itself. So let's get started. So now I've already downloaded my crack me and I put it in my folder here. Crack me 14. So before I do anything, I just make a copy so that I can revert to a copy if I wanted to re re restart again. And then I've also got x64 dbg installed. And the one that I need is x32. So I'll be opening this now and I'm using November 24, 2021 version. My options preferences are as follows. I have unchecked everything but leave only entry breakpoint checked. And for the exceptions, I ignore all the exceptions from 8 zeros to 8 Fs. So now I will start my I will open this in my X32 DBG. And now I'm going to run it. And so it pops up the crack me. It asks for the first name. I'm just going to type five A's and for the number, I just key any number that I like. And then when I hit on the button check, it says wrong serial key. So now we are going to crack this to make it show us the correct serial key. How do we do that? We can modify the code so that when we click on the check button, instead of saying wrong serial key, we can make it show us the actual serial key in this dialog, in this message box. So how to do that? We must first find out which part of the code is showing this message box. So to do that, we can use a technique called the call stack method. So to do a call stack method, we have to pause this, this debugger. At the moment, in the bottom left corner, you can see that it is running. So to pause it, just click on this pause button and then wait, wait for it to pause. Now that the debugger is paused, head over to the call stack tab and click on it. And here you see a list of all the function calls, the history of the function calls. And the one you are interested in is this one. You have other threads which are not important, but this one has got the user thread. So the other threads are all the system threads, NTDL, kernel, and so on. So those are not interesting to us. We only want the user threads. So on top here, these are the user threads. Not user32. User32 is still a DIL, a system thread. The one that you want is one of these. Normally, it will be the, not the first one. It will be either the second or third one that you're interested in. So in this case, I'm going to go for this one. So I double click on this and it will take me to the instruction just after the bad message is showing. So now you can see here that this is the place in the code where it is going to decide. This jump is going to decide whether or not to show the bad message or the good message. The bad message is the one which tells you that your serial key is wrong. So obviously in this case here, we are seeing a bad message. That is why we are 
you can see we are seeing a bad message we are seeing a bad message that means that this jump did not happen so if you analyze this jump here you will see that this is the string that is showing in our message box so why not we modify this string to show us the zero key so currently the string is coming from this address 71920e where how can we m change this address so that instead of loading this string into the message box we load the zero key that is the trick so how do we know where the zero key is if you look up the comments column here you will see the zero key is here right and this is the the part the, the function which compares whether a zero key is correct and this is the test that tests whether the zero key is the, is correct so you call this function and compare then you test the result the result of this function is always stored in ex that's why you're testing for ex here so in, so we can see obviously that this location 719 71911e0 has got the address of the correct zero key we should take this address and put it inside here so we're going to change this address to become 7191e0 so what we do is we assemble uh, the uh, code here by pressing the spacebar and we change this to this address 7191e0 7191e0 and then make sure keep size is checked so that you not you will not overwrite the the uh, next instruction so you can see the instruction is the same size so now you click ok and now you can see immediately we have changed the string that is going to be loaded into the message box so you now can close this and run remember we are in the pause state so we need to click run again to to enable the uh, program now we come back to this and we click one more time and this time we see that it is a blank now why is this a blank now if you if you want to solve this problem you need to go here and check why is it a blank so at the moment if you were to look at this this is where the original serial key was found right so you just right click on this follow in dumb the this address and you will see that the serial key has moved two bytes to the right originally it was here now it's moved two bytes to the right that means this is the one this is the address you should be using so if you were to highlight your this uh, byte here and look at the bottom the address now is shifted by two bytes originally it was 7191e0 now it's 7191e2 that means you must now modify this address over here to become 7191e2 to match this because now your string is started on the on the third byte so just assemble again and change this to 1e2 and then you hit ok now you click close and now you see the string the serial key is back so now you try again click ok and now you will see your serial key there so now it's working now we're going to patch it so we go to up here file and patch the file ok click patch file and then click yes and then uh, let's give it a new name crack me 14 and then at the back we have pen version 2 click save click patch apply now we can go and test our new file the version 2 so now we can key in anything you like key in whatever number here and click check and it will show you your zero key so this has now become a self key gen so this is how you create a self key gen thank you for watching